Hi everyone, as developers while building websites, we've all come across situations where there's this one word hanging separately on the last line of our titles and it makes the entire title looks very weird and very less visually appealing. And in today's video, we'll be basically understanding how we can deal with such situations and basically make it look something like this, which looks much cleaner and much readable and also is very visually appealing. So yeah, let's begin and understand how we can get from this to this. So there's this package called React Wrap Balancer and it basically makes your titles more readable. So there's this demo given on the platform. You can go visit this particular website react wrap balancerworselapp and you can try it out and you can see how this package basically uh, Re, re layouts your entire titles to make them more readable and cleaner with different uh, screen widths. So as you can see with this sort of screen width, there's always this single word that is hanging on the last line. But with when you use this particular package, your text will or your titles will basically look something like this. And this is much cleaner and this looks much uh, pretty on the website. So yeah, we are basically going to explore this particular package. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we can use this. It is very simple to use. You simply need to install uh, this into your code base. So I have this uh, demo application that I just showed you. So it has only one H1 tag and this is the text that we have written into this. Uh, Dev with Kunaljin, where skills meet Stack Overflow in Google. So yeah, uh, I've already installed the package uh, React Wrap Balancer. You can also go ahead and install this by simply running this particular command in your terminal npm install React Wrap Balancer. And once you are done installing it, all you need to do is simply import this balancer component from the package. So let's go ahead and do that quickly and wrap your text with that particular component. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. I will wrap my text with that. And once I do that, let me quickly check if the server is running. Yeah, the server is running. Uh, and let's go ahead and go to localhost colon 3000. So yeah, as you can see, if I reload the page, uh, the text looks something like this and not something like this. Uh, oh, it hit loaded here as well because uh, because of uh, rebuild. But yeah, uh, you remember how it looked earlier without the balancer. Let's quickly see how it looked without the balancer component. So yeah, this is how it looked, which is very <laughs> bad and not really visually appealing. So yeah, you can simply go ahead and use this package and it is very easy to use and it will make your text look something like this and much cleaner. Now there are some things that you need to take into consideration. So you must be thinking this is like a very common problem, right? There should be some CSS property that can handle this sort of stuff. So yes, there is, and it recently came into the picture, uh, text strap balance. But the thing is browsers haven't really adapted it as of now. So you can go to the visit uh, website, can I use.com. And if you check for this property text strap, you can see not a lot of browsers have adopted this particular property yet. And you can see there is like a lot of red. So not a good idea to use this property directly into your website. Uh, you can basically go ahead and use this particular package. It uses an algorithm and it really outs your text. Uh, you can read more about the algorithm over here and how it works. Now there are some things that you need to note. So if you're using multiple instances of balancer component within your uh, like application, it is a better idea to wrap your entire app component with this provider that this react wrap balancer package provides. When you do this, it basically uses the same logic that basically rebalances your text and that reduces, uh, it basically uses the same uh, code to rebalance your title uh, throughout your application and does not uh, like rewrite that entire logic again and again. So that reduces your HTML size. So yeah, you can go ahead and uh, use this provider component and wrap your entire application with it if you are going to use it at multiple places. Now, there are a few things that you need to uh, uh, basically understand before using this package. It is a OF login uh, algorithm, so it is pretty fast. But when you go to basically uh, like using it at multiple places, the time the time complexity can result in a performance impact of your application. So if you go to this particular section, it will basically tell you how your uh, overall 
loading time of your web page will basically increase with the number of balancer components you have used so if you have used around 5000 balancer components across your application then every balancer uh, every balancer component will basically contribute 7 milliseconds to your entire page loading time which at scale might not be a good idea but if you think you won't be using these many balancer components because you won't be having that many titles across your application and with around 100 elements it doesn't really make a huge performance impact so feel free to use this particular package but use it only where it is really necessary like in headings and uh, titles on landing pages etc but if there are like long paragraphs of text which can be rendered with a little bit of uh, last line hanging words then don't use those uh, you don't use this particular component there so yeah go through this particular website go through the package and i think you'll love it 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 basically handles the entire thing for you and uh, doesn't uh, you don't have to basically add extra padding and stuff to basically take care of these last line hanging words and it takes care of that so pretty interesting package and kudos to the creator of this particular package uh, shedding and he has like a lot of other cool projects we might cover a few of those projects uh, in later videos as well but yeah like a creator to look out for and follow over twitter and other platforms he has uh, really good projects so yeah uh, do let me know what you think about this particular package and if you have any doubts or if you want to talk about something about related to this particular package or if you have anything new that you want me to make a video on do let me know everything in the comment section below i'll see you in the next one thank you